19th November 2023 Madhupan Avyakta Bhaktada Om Shanti Revites 3rd of April 1996 The modulus title is As well as doing service Become free from your old and wasteful sanskars By having an attitude of unlimited disinterest Today The unlimited father It's seeing his unlimited, constantly cooperative companions, you constantly cooperative children in all directions are constantly seated in the father's heart, on the heart throne. The incorporeal father does not even have an immortal throne of his own, whereas your children have so many. So Bhaktada is constantly happy to see your children. seated on the hearth throne wa my children who are seated on the throne the children are always happy to see the father all of you experience happiness on seeing bad dada and bad dada is also pleased to see all the children because each child is a special soul even if a child is the last number child even while being the last number He is still at the least of a handful out of multi-millions. So does the father have greater happiness on seeing each child? Or do you have greater happiness? Both. The father had so many children. The more children there are, the greater the happiness he has. Whereas you only have double happiness. That is all. You have the happiness of the family. But the father's happiness is permanent. Is your happiness permanent or does it fluctuate? Bhaktada believes that the breath of Brahman life is happiness. If you don't have happiness, you don't have a Brahman life. And it is imperishable happiness, not happiness that you only experience sometimes. To a percentage, happiness is happiness. If today you have 50 percentage happiness and tomorrow you have You have 100% happiness, then your breath of life is fluctuating. Bhaktada also told you earlier that even if you shed your body, your happiness should not disappear. So is this lesson firm or are you still a little weak in this? Have you underlined the word constantly? What would those who only experience this sometimes be? Those who have constant happiness are those who pass with honors, whereas those who only experience this sometimes have to pass through the land of Tharamraj. Those who pass with honors will return with the father in a second. They will not stop anywhere. So who are all of you? Those who go back with the father are those who stop, means the one who go back with the father. Does your chart show this? All of you know what Bhakta does. Special hope for every child is in the air of the diamond jubilee. Do you not? Bhakta saw the charts of all the children. What did Baba see in them? According to the present time, one particular aspect needs further special attention. You are moving forward in service with a lot of zeal and enthusiasm. Everyone has special zeal and enthusiasm for doing service in the Diamond Jubilee. You have all passed and thus, each of you is doing service according to your capacity and will continue to do so. However, what is now especially needed? Time is coming close and so, according to the closeness of time, what wave should there be? Men's and bracket, thus and trust. What kind of disinterest, limited or unlimited? Do you have the stage of having unlimited disinterest according to the need of the time to the same extent as you have zeal and enthusiasm? The success of your service is when the subjects are created as quickly as possible. That is why you do service, is it not? Until your instrument souls have an attitude of unlimited disinterest. Other souls cannot have an attitude 
of this interest. You want everyone to receive the father's introduction, but they cannot receive it unless you have an attitude of this interest. Unlimited disinterest is permanent disinterest. If you have disinterest according to the time or circumstances, then time claims number one and you claim number two because it is due to the circumstances or the time that you are inspired to have disinterest. Once the circumstances finish and the time goes by, your disinterest also finishes. What would you call this? Unlimited disinterest? Are limited so you now need to have unlimited disinterest the main basis for losing disinterest is the consciousness of bodies unless there is disinterest in body consciousness there cannot be permanent disinterest in anything there is only temporary disinterest it is not a big thing to have disinterest in relationships in their hearts many people in the world also have disinterest However, here, there are various types of body consciousness. You must know those types. You too. Don't you? You know the details of your numerous types of body consciousness. However, after knowing all those different types of body consciousness, you should be able to have unlimited dust and trust. And your body consciousness should change into soul consciousness. Just as... Body consciousness has become natural, so soul consciousness also has to become natural in the same way. In every situation, the word that comes first is the body. In terms of relations, you speak of the relations of your body. If they are possessions, they are possessions that belong to your body. So the main basis is body consciousness. While you have body consciousness in any form, you cannot have the attitude of disinterest. But the Sadar, at present, the reason for the obstacle of body consciousness is that you do not have disinterest in the old sanskars of the body. First of all, you need to have disinterest in the old sanskars of your body. Sanskars bring your stage down. Because of sanskars, there are obstacles and the service you do and in your connections and relations. So Baba saw and the result that for as long as you do not have this interest in the old sanskars of your body, you cannot constantly have unlimited disinterest. Sanskars attract you to themselves in various ways. Where there is the slightest attraction to something, there cannot be disinterest. So check, am I free from my old and wasteful sanskars no matter how much you try and you do try to have an attitude of disinterest some or even the majority of you have such a strong sanskars in some aspects that they pull you to themselves so first there has to be disinterest in the old sanskars why do the sanskars emerge even against your conscious wish you don't wish them to but they do emerge because you haven't burned away their subtle form. A trace of them still remains. They are hidden and involuntary. They emerge at some time. You then say, I didn't want to, but it just happened. So what can I do? It just happened. Who is saying this? Body consciousness or soul consciousness? Therefore, back to the Sadar, you still have some weakness. In having an attitude of disinterest in your sanskars, you have finished them, but you haven't finished them to the extent that not even a trace of them remains. But there is a trace of them, there will also be their progeny. If today there is a slight stress, then according to the time that takes the form of its progeny, it puts you under an external influence. What do all of you see? Just as the father is knowledgeful, so too we are also knowledgeful. However, what are you when the sanskars attack you? Knowledgeful or knowledge pull? So, instead of being knowledgeful, you become pulled by knowledge. You are not knowledgeful. If any of you were to be asked, 
You would say, yes, I do understand that it should not happen, that I should not do that, but it happens. So at that time, are you knowledgeful or are you pulled by knowledge? Those who are knowledgeful cannot be attacked by any sanskars, any relationships or any possessions. So, you are celebrating the diamond jubilee. Diamond jubilee means to become a diamond. That is to be one who has unlimited this and trust. There isn't as much attention paid to having an attitude of trust and trust as there is to enthusiasm for service. There is carelessness in that you say everything is moving along fine. It continues to happen. At the right time, everything will work out fine. Is time your teacher or is Baba your teacher? Who is your teacher? If you transform yourselves according to the time, then time is your teacher. If your creation is your teacher, is that right? When such circumstances arise, what do you say? It will be all right at that time. It will work out fine. You even reassured the father, don't worry, everything will be all right and we will move forward at the right time. Does it suit you, master creators, to make time your teacher? Do you like it? No. Time is your creation and you are the master creators. It doesn't suit you, master creators, to have your creation become the teacher of the master creators. So now, in the time that Bhagdada has given you, make your attitude of disinterest emerge. When there is a pull of service, the attitude of disinterest finishes. Because you receive happiness and power by doing service and you also receive the instant fruit. While you are doing service, unlimited disinterest finishes. Therefore, Awaken this attitude of disinterest within yourselves. Was it you who became thus a cycle ago or was it someone else? You were thus, were you not? Now, simply allow that which is merged to emerge. Just as you make practical plans for service emerge and this is why you achieve success in the same way now make your attitude of unlimited disinterest emerge, no matter how many facilities you have attained, and day by day you will receive more facilities. Do not let your spiritual endeavor to have an attitude of unlimited disinterest be merge. Make it emerge. Let there be a balance of the facilities and your spiritual endeavor. As you progress further, matter will become your servant. You will receive regard and respect, but while having everything, do not let your attitude of disinterest decrease. Do you experience an atmosphere of an attitude of unlimited disinterest within yourselves, or have you become busy doing service? Just as people of the world are able to see the impact of your service, they should also be able to see the impact of your attitude of unlimited disinterest. What was the stage of all of you in the beginning? When you were in Karachi, there wasn't any service. You had the facilities, but by making the atmosphere one of an attitude of unlimited disinterest, you increased service. So, all those who are celebrating their diamond jubilee have the original sanskars, but they have now become merged. Now make this attitude emerge once again. The attitude of unlimited disinterest of the original jewels enabled establishment to take place. Therefore, now in order to establish the new world, make that same attitude and same atmosphere emerge again. So did you hear what is needed? If you did not have any facilities, and you say that you have this interest, who is going to believe you? It is while having the facilities that you have to have this interest. 
there is such a vast difference between the facilities of the early days and the facilities now. The spiritual endeavor has become hidden and the facilities have become visible. Acha, it is good to use the facilities. Use them generously because they are for you. But do not let the spiritual endeavor become merged. There should be a complete balance. You tell people of the world to become like a lotus flower. You tell them to become like a lotus flower while having all the facilities. The facilities are not bad. In fact, they are the fruit of your karma and your yoga. However, it's a question of your attitude. It shouldn't be that you become trapped in the expansion of the facilities and come under the influence of the facilities. Should it become as detached as a lotus flower and loving to the father while using them, do not be influenced by them, stay detached. Do not let the facilities make your attitude of disinterest become merged. At present, there is a great need for this. Everything in the world is going towards the extreme. And so, there has to be an attitude of true disinterest. You are the ones who will create that atmosphere. First, within yourselves, then within the world. So, what will those who are celebrating the Diamond Jubilee do? You will spread the wave. Well, you know, all of you are experienced. You experienced it in the beginning. You have everything. Eat as much real key as you can, but nevertheless have an attitude of unlimited disinterest. People of the world eat real key, means clarified butter, but you used to drink it. You have seen ravers of key. The special task for those of the Diamond Jubilee is to have heart to heart conversations. Since you are all together now, just as you have meetings for service, so to have meetings for this, for what bad the says, when you wish to become borderless in a second, the foundation for that is this attitude of unlimited disinterest. Otherwise, no matter how much you try, you will not be able to become this in a second. You will be caught up in battling. Where there is disinterest, that is fertile ground. Whatever you saw there, the fruit will emerge instantly. So what do you have to do? All of you should feel that you too have to have an attitude of disinterest. Acha, do you understand what you have to do? Is it easy or difficult? Will there be a little attraction or not? Will the facilities not pull you to themselves? You now need to practice thus whenever you want, wherever you want. And however you want, you need to be able to set yourselves in that stage in a second. When you have to do service, do that service. When you have to become detached from service, become detached. Let it not be that service pulls you so that you cannot stay without doing service. You need the willpower to do what you want, as you want, when you want. Do you have willpower? You should be able to stop as soon as you are told stop. It shouldn't be that you put a full stop and it becomes a question mark. Full stop. Not even a stop, but a full stop. You have to be able to do what you want practically. You want to become this, but it is difficult to become this. So what would you call this? Do you? Have well power or just power. As soon as you have the thought to finish all vestige, finish it in a second. Babdada also told you earlier that many children say we sit down for yoga, but instead of yoga, we are battling. They are not yogis, they are warriors, means yodhas. If you have the sanskars of battling, over a long period of time, what will you become? Part of the Sun Dynasty or the Moon Dynasty? As soon as you think about it, it should happen. 
for something to happen as soon as you think of it is a matter of a second this is known as willpower do you have willpower or is it that you create very good plans but out of 10 plans only five happen practically it is not like that is it you think very well we will do this this will happen however there is a difference in it happening practically so you now need to have such willpower that you experience something being already accomplished as soon as you think of it it is saying that at amrit vela when you have a heart to heart conversation with the father you say very good things i will do this i will do this however what is the result when night comes you make baba very happy by speaking such sweet things such a good things baba becomes very happy wah my children you say baba whatever you have said to us it has to happen it is already accomplished you speak very good things some reassured the father so much and say if it weren't us who else would it be baba we are the same ones every cycle and they became happy are those sitting at the back listening carefully will those sitting at the back do this before those who are sitting at the front you are sitting at the back but you are close and the hug why you did the service of giving others a chance so the servers are constantly in the father's heart don't ever think that if you weren't also that is you would also you are not in front but you are in the heart the heart too is not an ordinary heart it is a throne so you are those seated on the heart throne are you not no matter where you are sitting whether in some corner down below or in the cabin you are in the father's heart to the souls everywhere who have the most elevated fortune and are seated on the throne to the special souls who constantly make the atmosphere that of an attitude of unlimited disinterest to the special souls who constantly use their elevated specialities to the clothed souls who constantly experience the company of the one father and the hand of shrimat baptadas love remembrance and namaste the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father blessing may you become an embodiment of total success by knowing the significance of being faithful to the one and placing the bestower of blessings explanation the blessings of the father the bestower of blessings are infinite and whoever wants some can take as many as they want the treasure store is open some children became full from that open treasure store whereas others became full according to their capacity the innocent lord and the form of the bestower of blessings fills your aprons the most you simply have to know the way to please him and you will then receive total success the best way of blessings loves one expression the most and that is being faithful to the one let there not be anyone else even in your thoughts or dreams let it be in your attitude that you belong to the one and none other the aprons of those who understand the significance of this remain constantly full slogan serve with your thoughts and words simultaneously and you will continue to receive double the fruit om shanti